six packs scrambled eggs. So today I'm making scrambled eggs. I have my box of eggs. I have a bowl to whisk them up in before we put them in to the pan. And I have a plate that's going on them. What I also have here is some brown bread. I love my scrambled eggs on toast. Brown seeded loaf. Not just any brown seeded loaf. If you wondered where I got it from. It's actually, um, I didn't even realise this, but it's gluten free. And here's the thing, everybody says, well not everybody, but there's a lot of people saying, so what I'm doing now is I'm just putting the grill on, and I'm chucking my toast underneath, well I'm not chucking toast, it's not toast yet, I'm chucking bread underneath the grill, and I'm putting it on for three and a half minutes, because that's when I'll need to turn it over, because I don't want burnt toast, because apparently burnt toast gives you cancer now. So here's the deal, six packs. How do you get a six pack? With the eggs, by the way, I'm gonna go two whole eggs, two egg whites. What's the deal with six packs? Do we need to do cardio? Do we need to go low carb? Do we need to eat lots of protein? Do we need to do high intensity work? Do we need to lift weights? Do we even need to do core work? Do we need to do ab exercises to get a six pack? Is sleep important? Is stress important? Can you eat bread if you want a six pack? Listen, there's loads and loads of myths out there. And I want to try and dispel a few for you today while I cook my scrambled eggs on toast. So, where shall we start? Let's put the pan on. Let's get some heat in this pan. Now, unlike an omelet, I want the pan super hot. I'm going to get some butter again. Again, only the best. I get about a fork full of butter. Straight in the pan. By the way, everything that I'm doing here is completely personal to me and it works for me. Um, I'm not suggesting or recommending in any way that you do what I do. Because just, just because you do what I do doesn't mean you'll get the results that I get. Unless you're my twin brother in a parallel universe and your body is made up exactly the same way that mine is. Everything has to be personal. That's why that's why a lot of diet plans and programs out there that aren't personal don't work. Not long term anyway. And that's why I'm not a fan of them. That's why I won't uh, I won't do any cookie cutter generic programs, especially when it comes to diet. Like some of the training stuff I do and put out there, some of it's very similar. But when it comes to diet, mm -mm. all personal. So I've whisked, I haven't whisked, I've kind of forked, forked the eggs. Get rid of the box. Fork the eggs. I'm now moving the butter around in the pan. I don't know if you can hear it, but my little alarm's going off on the oven to let me know that it's been three and a half minutes, so I'll just check the bread. Not quite done, so I'm gonna give it another minute before I turn it over. Um, got my famous chili flakes. Love those, they're not really famous, it's just that I like using them. Chili flakes go in the pan. Toast is under the grill. Eggs are whisked up. Eggs have been forked. I'm gonna put some pepper in with the actual eggs. Get that ready. And you can add all sorts into that, it doesn't just have to be chili flakes and pepper, it's just what I like. So all these myths surrounding six packs, how to get a six pack, or even just how to strip fat, can't eat bread, uh, can't eat carbs after six, um, must do cardio. Here's the deal, I haven't done cardio, I did one three mile run to test out my knee, because I did, I've done something to my knee at the 1st of December, I remember it, it was the 1st of December. I was on a nine mile run. Oh, no, I was on an 11 mile run. It was an 11 mile run. At mile nine, my knee, something happened to my knee and that was the last bit of cardio I did apart from a three mile run uh, about, I don't know, two or three weeks ago to test my knee and after mile two, knee started playing up. So I've just been back in the gym this month, December, didn't do anything. And this month, I was back in, I've been back in the gym doing some weights. I've been eating bread. 
I've been having porridge before I go to bed, so I've been eating plenty of carbohydrates. Um, by the way, all I did there is just pour the egg mix, the, the, the forked up eggs into the pan, and then I just whisk away. Notice how I'm not on the heat with this, I'm looking at my bread, and then I put it back on the heat. I continue to whisk those eggs, I continue to scramble these eggs. This is scrambled eggs, not an omelette. So continue to scramble them on and off the heat intermittently. So I've had um, almost two months of doing zero cardio. I've been eating carbohydrates, lots of them. I love carbohydrates. Bread, rice, spaghetti bolognese is one of our meals um, each week. We have a pizza week, we have a takeout, another takeout week, so either Indian or, um, I'm a big fan of Thai, I love Thai food, and I'll have the rice with it. Um, I must say that I hardly ever drink alcohol, by the way. I think over Christmas I might, might have had one or two glasses of wine and a Baileys, and that's it. And as you can see, by the way, these eggs are starting to scramble nicely. They're pretty much done now. What did that take, like 30, 40 seconds? The chilies are hitting the back of my throat, so I know I've put enough in. And so that's been kind of my diet. That's been my exercise for the last two months. Nothing in December, by the way. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the toast out, putting the toast on the plate. One last scramble of the eggs. Move it away from the heat. Shut the grill. Turn all the heat off. Loads of carbs, a bit of alcohol, no training through the whole of December, weights only through January, zero core work by the way, absolutely no core work uh, whatsoever, so no crunches, uh, no oblique twists, no planks, none of that stuff, apart from demonstrating it every now and again to clients. Um, I'm not on a fat loss mission by the way, I'm working on strengthening my body and conditioning my body, so I'm not on a specific fat loss mission, and here's the result. Not quite a six pack, but, well you saw it. We've got some abs there. All I'm doing now by the way is getting even more butter, plastering it all over the bread, and the toast. So the reason I did that, the reason I showed you that, the reason I told you about my diet and training, is because there's a lot of myths out there that you have to do cardio, you have to avoid carbs, you can't eat bread. Well, here's the thing, if you if you do everything that I did and still get results, then and, and still not get results, it's because it doesn't work for you. What I do works for me. I can not do any core work and end up with a six pack. I can not do any cardio and end up with a six pack. I can eat bread and end up with a six pack. Because I've found what works for me. So how do you get a six pack? You find what works for you. You do what works for you. If, if cardio works for you, in the past, if you've done loads of cardio and you've managed to get a six pack, great. Go and do that. If you go to exercise classes and you get a six pack, great. Keep doing that. What I'm doing now, by the way, is just pouring the scrambled eggs onto the toast. Zero vegetables with it. This is what it looks like. There you go. By the way, if you caught a glimpse of this on the camera, that is not mine. <laughs> uh, the only time I ever eat white bread is if I'm in France and I'm having a baguette from the baker's that's next door to my auntie's house. That's the only time I will ever have it. Uh, a little bit more pepper over the top of this. The tiniest bit of salt. Like the tiniest bit. Because butter's got a lot of salt in it. Oh no, it hasn't. No, it's got zero salt in it. Just checking that, by the way, for like confirmation. No, it hasn't. The bread will have, though. Um, and then we top it off with olive oil. We'll have a lid. I always fill up a lid of olive oil, like that, and then pour it all over. We scrambled eggs and toast. So I'm gonna go and enjoy that. And obviously you came here to learn about how to get a six pack. Uh, so my best tips are to get a six pack, make sure you're getting at least, at least six hours sleep every single night. 
Make sure you drink at least two and a half to three liters of water every single day. Make sure you're doing resistance work. So you're working with weights, squats, deadlifts, pressing, pulling, pushing, that sort of thing. Make sure you're eating less calories than you're burning. Because if you currently haven't got a six pack and you're eating um, more than you're burning, you'll never shift the fat that's in front of the abs that are already there that were given to you at birth, by the way. You do have them there, but you've just got a layer of fat over them. If you're watching this because you want to get a six pack, you have to remove that fat. The only way you do that is eating less calories than you're burning. It's the only way. Uh, but also you can build them up by doing the weights and the resistance work. You can increase your metabolism that way. You can reduce your stress levels by getting enough sleep, drinking water, um, cutting out process, as much processed food as you can, staying away from sugar drinks and alcohol. That all definitely helps. Uh, but being consistent with it. Like abs don't happen overnight. People give up too soon on their mission. So be consistent with it and you'll get yourself a nice little six pack. I'm going to go and enjoy my scrambled eggs on toast. Thanks for watching. See you soon.